Okay. So now we're gonna make some scary good food. We're gonna make um, bat wings. Chicken wings, everybody, with like a molasses sauce on them and they get really dark in the oven so they look black like bat wings. <laughs> and you're gonna make the deviled eyeballs. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. All right, I'm going to go to the pantry, the flight pantry, and get some molasses and vinegar. You get started mashing up them eggs. Okay. John's got my mom's secret ingredient for deviled eggs in there. She puts a little bit of onion juice, a few tablespoons of onion juice in her deviled eggs. <laughs> that is not funny! <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Halloween anymore. I got a spider thing. I, I That's have nothing. awful. I'm not getting anything out of that pantry. <laughs> You want me to go? Oh, that I'll is go. awful. Reminds Wait. me when that animal guy comes with his big boxes, Jared, and he makes me stick my hand in the box with the toxic frog and the millennials. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> honey. I killed it. <laughs> Very good, honey. Our hero. Can you bring me? That is so mean. I'm so getting somebody for that. <laughs> Jeez Louise. All right, so a couple of pounds of, of chicken wings. You throw them into a pot and you boil them up for a few minutes into a big cauldron, let's say, and you boil them up for like 15 minutes. You pull them out, throw them on a baking sheet, and then you make a nice dark molasses sauce. You need a couple of cups of molasses. I've got a few inches of grated ginger root down in the bottom of this. Oh, I'm trying to get over the spider, man. I'm so freaked out by that spider. <laughs> now these chicken wings, they don't look like bat wings anymore. They look like big, creepy spider legs. Ooh. How are you doing over there, honey, mashing away? I'm pretty, uh, we've hit maximum mashability, I think. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of onion juice in there and 12 egg yolks, because we made a dozen deviled eggs. Right. Then you're gonna devil it up with Worcestershire hot sauce and mustard. Mm. Then you're gonna make it into red devil eyes with some ground roasted red peppers. You could buy it in a jar, or just throw a couple roasted red peppers in the food processor at home. And then you're gonna use a little bit of mayo to bind it all together. Okie doke. Sounds groovy. You're good to go. So over here, I've got about a third of a cup of vinegar. I use cider vinegar. Any vinegar you have is fine. A couple inches of grated ginger, two cups of molasses, a cup of ketchup. I love this squeezy bottle of ketchup. It's so much fun. Looks like blood and guts. <laughs> awesome. A little bit of sugar. Some Worcestershire Shire sauce, as Bugs Bunny said. Can I borrow your hot sauce, Annie? Absolutely. Thank you. A little bit of hot sauce. So you, feel, you feel like a kid again when you dress up, you know? It is, it's really fun, I like it. So you mix this all together. You crank up the oven to 450 degrees. Pour the sauce down over your wingies and you put it in the oven till they turn black, about mm, 15, 20 minutes. Then you pop them out. Ba -na 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 -na. Bat wings! <laughs> <laughs> How's your eyeballs looking, honey? They're good. All right, now you've got some already made there, already mixed up for you. Put it in the bag. Yes, put it in the bag. You're gonna make a little pastry bag, cut the end off. There's something so hot about watching a man in uniform work in the kitchen, I just can't tell you. Okay, now uh, just squeeze it in there. There you go. Yep, fill up the eyeballs. And then you make the iris, or whatever oh. the middle part's called. What is that? That's the iris, right? The iris, the yeah. pupil and the iris, you, right? The pupil and the iris, and that's the eyeball, and then they look like little creepy eyeballs. Isn't that fun? <laughs> The old devil eye. Not bad. Now, honey. I'm gonna make you a little snack tray to take to the flight lounge, and you awesome. can go make us a couple of martinis for after the show. After we land. For after you land. Yes, that's always preferable to have them after you land. If you see a pilot getting on the plane with a martini in his hand, you should probably get on another plane. <laughs> yeah, I would say turn around and go to another destination. So there's a couple of eyeballs. A couple of bat wings. You make us a uh, couple of martinis and I'll meet you in the flight lounge later, okay? Okay, babe. Love you. Yeah.